In lab 13.1, students will examine the solubility of two different substances, sodium chloride and sodium nitrate, in equal amounts of solvent. In other words, will common salt and sodium nitrate dissolve equally if they are placed in the same amount of water? Does solubility depend on the type of solute? Students make and examine saturated solutions in order to answer these questions. Students will also understand that solubility is a characteristic property of matter. Let's first take a look at a test tube containing a blue liquid. What observations can you make about the solution? After careful examination, we can state that the liquid is clear but blue. Blue crystals are at the bottom of the test tube. The solute and solvent in the solution are blue. The crystals at the bottom of the liquid is undissolved solute. The reason why there are undissolved crystals at the bottom of the tube is because the so solution is saturated. We either need more water, more time, or more heat to dissolve the solute. Therefore, a saturated solution is a mixture in which the solvent can no longer dissolve the solute. Let's fill a test tube about halfway with water and put one level lab scoop of salt into the test tube. Shake the mixture to help the salt dissolve faster. Once it completely dissolves, add another lab scoop of salt. Keep adding salt, one scoop at a time, until no more dissolves. It takes about four scoops of salt to dissolve in the water. I know that no more would dissolve because I could see solute sitting at the bottom of the test tube. 